Hi, George. Hi. What three things make you happy? <sighs> three things make me happy. Acting, baths, and my dog. She's a very energetic Staffordshire Terrier. How exactly are John and Pedro related? And what's your take on their history? Um, I, on a history note, it hasn't been overly pleasant between the two of them. They, um, I think they've had those kind of typical sibling moments where, where you kind of squabble over, over something small and petty and then you might not talk to one another for a while. Uh, only with John, that went maybe a little bit too far because he always felt kind of disconnected from Pedro and, and his dad and Anne obviously and so never really had anyone to actually whine to so he kind of bottles it up and kind of fumes over the little things and then you get Pedro's expectations of what John should be doing, what he um, what he should be doing with his life uh, and the grades he's getting, you're not, you have no friends, what are you doing, that kind of stuff. So yeah, not overly pleasant for John. <laughs> Where did John go during his absence? Oh, that's an interesting question. He would not have gone to Robbie's and I don't think he would have gone to Cora's either. Um, mainly because I don't see Cora and John being overly close friends in the first in the first part of the series. He's really just using her as a tool, and he's kind of run out of uses for Robbie, who's kind of confessed his crimes and kind of um, obviously doesn't actually respect John anymore. I would say, so I I I would see that for for a while he kind of oh he's a smart guy. I feel like he, he would have either kind of wheedled his way into some kind of establishment where he, he would work for bread and board, that kind of stuff. So so either he went, although it's not manual labour, but he could have been like a kind of front room kind of person like that. And then he and then he got kicked out, you know, kicked out for a bit. It's like, oh, you're not doing enough work. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and lives under a bridge for a while. <laughs> <laughs> How genuine do you reckon John's apology was? Uh, well, he wasn't apologizing for his actions towards Pedro or Claudio. He was merely apologizing because Hero got hurt. Um, he wasn't. He was. He was explaining himself more than he was actually apologizing. Um, I was genuinely surprised at the results we got from the um from the apology video and people feeling that it was genuine like a real heartfelt apology but really it was all of his loathing just coming out all at once because something went wrong he couldn't uh take full uh, kind of l look at that perfect execution oh revenge is sweet oh yeah hero's dead because at that time he believed hero it's gone like I'm responsible for another person's dead, uh, death, and she was so lovely. <laughs> that kind of thing. What did you do to get into the John Donaldson mindset slash character? <laughs> I was thinking a lot about dead puppies. I suppose another bit of it is just amplifying emotion. It's typical actor jargon, I suppose, but um, you choose an emotion that's um, a lesser form of what you're going for. Um, in my case, it would have been um, a, a minor depression I had a while, um, ages ago. Um, but I chose that kind of emotion. Remember how it felt, and then you amplify it to portray it um, again on screen or stage or whatever you're doing. Do you bake? Yes, mm -hmm. I bake. Real men bake. Mm -hmm. I bake cake. My favorite one is a. I do a kind of double layer fudge cake with like cream and lots and lots of chocolate. Favourite thing to do after a tough day? I either read or go straight to sleep. I don't like facing the toughness of a day. Which one of you actors would win the Hunger Games against the others and why? Mm. Jake would die really quickly. I feel like an alliance might form. I want to say either Harriet or um, Caleb 
I survive until around the end through an alliance because I'm I, I I like climbing trees. Favorite Shakespeare play. <laughs> Favourite tragedy, Hamlet. Um, I love that play. My favourite comedy... Um, would have to be... Uh, Merchant of Venice. Um, may, honestly, because of the villain Shylock. I love Shylock the Jew. He's so good. He's so cool. <laughs> there. <laughs> No, this was supposed to be quick fire. <laughs> oh. mm. Claudio. No. Uh. Sounds disgusting. Slytherin. There's so many! <laughs> um, I'm just gonna go with a, a silly answer and say Snape. I would choose a badger. Mm -hmm. okay. It's going completely off the board. Yeah, there. I would choose a badger. Mm -hmm. Similar. I get annoyed with people quite easily, but differing, I can retain that passion for revenge for later in life. I think throwing aliens into the midst of it all would be pretty cool. I don't think John would ever really go back to being a nice guy, really and truly. Um, I think it's so much ingrained into his character that he can't help but hate Pedro, no matter what he does. Aggressively, no. Our studying classics, which is really cool. Um, I love the actual literature side of it. I'm studying English literature. It was really, really, really fun. No, other project. I, I, I haven't worked on many filming projects, but the ones I have been really boring. Bye.